Hi guys, welcome to Dessert for Breakfast. And um, I'm Rochelle with Rochelle in a Handbasket. And today our guest is Mr. Mike Seely with the Lafayette Catholic School System. You have been in Lafayette now how long? About a year and a half. Do you like it? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, our uh, family has really transitioned well to the community. It's uh, been a very welcoming community. Yeah. Lots to do in town. Um, Where did you? Thankfully, have Purdue around uh, across the river and so many great restaurants and businesses such as yours is amazing. Thanks. Thanks. I always want to say, oh, across the river and through the woods to grandmother's house. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, tell me about what you do as well, the president of the Catholic school system, which is rather large here in Lafayette, yeah, is it not? We have yeah. uh, four school or five school buildings, uh, pre-K through 12th grade okay. um, in the community. And my main role is to uh, look over the budget, the finances, fundraising, um, make community engagements, and uh, make sure that our students and parents uh, feel like they have a wonderful Catholic education here in town. Yeah, where'd you come from? I came, moved from South Bend, Indiana. Um, big Catholic community there. Big, yes. Notre Dame. Yes, absolutely. Blue and so, gold. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I might move there, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great community there as well. Um, one of the nice things about Lafayette, though, is we have just kind of one Catholic school system, so there's a lot of energy around it, a lot of dedicated families to the system, and yeah. uh, I think we do a wonderful job of, of uh, educating pre-K through 12th grade students. So, dessert for breakfast. So yours is the traditional earthquake cake. Um, it's got toasted pecans and toasted almonds and, no, not almonds, toasted pecans and toasted coconut on the bottom, right? And then it's German chocolate cake, and then you take these blobs of this homemade um, frosting type stuff that Kim makes from scratch, and you blob it on there. And if you were to see the whole cake, it has cracks in it. So it looks like an earthquake, right? So yours is traditional, that's yours. Mine is my version, because I'm gluten-free. So mine's like funfetti cake, gluten-free, with the same frosting and the same pecans and the same coconut, but it's way, to me, it's way better <laughs> because there's more, because of the, the different type, Yeah. there's way more um, frosting in there. And so it like totally gets more, it's so good. Okay, here. So, so the consistency, it looks like it's not, it's a cake or not a brownie. Right. It's just amazing. I gotta get some of this whipped cream. You, you go first. Oh, wow. It? Yeah, holy cow. Right? You can taste all the layers. Just for the record, yeah. I took a way bigger bite than you, and I'm gonna be <laughs> totally rude and talk with my mouth full. Cause that's what I do. But here's what I'm gonna say. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Mike, for being a guest on my show. Yeah, thank you I for appreciate me. it. Enjoy your breakfast. Yeah, thank you. And I hope everyone has a great week. And remember, be kind. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>